Uh, Thursday night means lucky dip night, and uh, we are joined here with uh, Samantha Housen. How are you? Good. Thank That's you. good. And Jarrett Garn, who was on the show this week. How are you, mate? I'm great. <laughs> good. And Benjamin. G'day, mate. I'm Toucan Sam. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> if Jarrett gets to be uh, Tony the Tiger from the Frosty Flake, then, uh, I want to be the Toucan from Fruit Loops. <laughs> then what am I? Oh, um. Uh, uh, maybe Snap, Crackle, or Pop. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Oh, do I have to pick one? You can, pick or can one. I be all of them? I can't, you can be yeah. a three if you want. Yeah, I'll be all we three. need to we need to diversify a bit and get a Count Chocolate on the show. So, yeah, or uh, the Lucky Charms. <laughs> Irish. Oh, I did. I did a DNA spit test, and I am mostly Irish. So I could oh, be. Excellent. I could be. You yeah. Could be the Lucky Charms. You could be yeah. a leprechaun. I could Ooh, be a leprechaun. <laughs> Uh, Jared, are you prepared for Lucky Dip? I most certainly am. I've got my sweaty things. I wasn't going to... I was like, that's not appropriate. I've got some... Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything that's not, not appropriate. <laughs> I was gonna, I've got some sweaty balls. I've got some wet balls. I've got some spit balls. There we go. We're not doing spit balls. Oh, okay. Lucky Dip. I don't know what Lucky Dip is then. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not throwing these things. You can. You can throw it. You can spit okay. No, you don't. Okay. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful uh, vinegar syndrome slip cases. I, I actually don't have. I was just going to pretend it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the magic of cinema. For the sake of for the sake of this video, Samantha, would you like to lead the way? I will. Well, you haven't got many left, by the sounds of it. No. Oh, can you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. I have. <laughs> you told me to make more, and I have. <laughs> I will though. Such I a will. taskmaster. I know. Oh. Oh yeah. True romance. Nineteen ninety-three. Have you I got just... that four K, Jared? I do. I was just looking at it then. Just yeah. up there. Four <laughs> K. I've only got the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray is uh, still going, I think. Yeah, I got. I have the Blu-ray. Yeah. What it's a such movie! A, such a great movie. The do you music, remember the um? Do you remember Classic. the Roadshow DVD um, didn't have all the um, subtitles for the Sicilian scene? Yes, yes, yes. It was one of the first, like, Roadshow DVDs that came out. It yeah. was very exciting. And then you're like, but hang on. <laughs> you're miss- <laughs> missing vital plot points. When does, uh, when does he call uh, Christopher Walken an eggplant? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hands down my favourite Tarantino film, even though he didn't direct. It's my favourite Tarantino film. Yeah, same. same. Yeah. 100%. Cool. I love Christian Slater too. It's oh, pretty it's so it's cool pretty in this movie. Yeah. Hang on, what was that, Ben? It's pretty good, but it's no Jackie Brown. <laughs> Which is the I only the Jackie only Brown. Tarantino film based on someone else's work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that might say something. I don't know, but no, true romance is great. Um everything about it. The, we've talked about it a few times, Ben. The um what's his name from Sopranos? Fantastic scene. Oh, oh, James Gandolfini. James Gandolfini, you know, oh, slight, slightly, slightly trimmer Gandolfini, but still sweaty. <laughs> mm. Yeah. That was his thing. That was his thing. Yeah. He was like, I'm the sweaty guy. Such, <laughs> such a hard scene to watch. Like, that's the most, one of those scenes in movies for me. It's just one of those really difficult scenes to watch. It's just it is. Um, mm. So you've... the comeuppance is worth it. Like, but um, God, yeah, it's grueling. And how mm. good's Gary Oldman and um, yeah. Balky? <laughs> Belky. Yes, cousin Belky cousin Belky. I like Brad I Brad Pitt. He's terrific. Yeah. He's great. I can never remember the guy's name, but the guy who plays um his little John in Robin Hood Men in Tights. And he's one of the DEA agents with uh is he one no, he's one of the bodyguards oh. when the cops come in. And he's the bodyguard that won't take any of his shit. He doesn't care that they're cops. That's that right. Him? They all duck yeah, behind the couches <laughs> and he just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. That's so funny. And now, like, now <laughs> I had no does, idea. He makes his career playing dads in Disney TV series, like Disney <laughs> TV series. And you're like, that's the guy. That's the guy who doesn't give a fuck from True Romance. Samuel L. That's Jackson's so in there. Michael, mm. um, what's his name? What's the, um, what's the dude from Beautiful Girls? Michael Rappaport? Yes, Michael Rappaport. That's right. He turned up in um, recently in that Kid 90 documentary. And he's yeah, he does. Young. Yeah, yeah. Huh? That's what, I remember thinking he was too old. 
Like he- yeah, I was thinking that too. I was like, oh. but then he was playing a college student in higher learning in the mid nineties. So I was like, in the early nineties, yeah. I guess he was of age. He just kind of looks always old. He would have been that kid you went to high school with that looks like Larry Kubiak yeah. from um, Parker Lewis can't lose. That's just like grown, and you're like, he's already he's got a like, beard. He's, he's fresh like shaven this morning. You'd always take him to the uh, to the to the bottle shop. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> he 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 was generally the one that would try and beat me. So I was like trying to keep my Keep it a good distance, good some social distance. Yes, um, no. but Val, Val Kilmer too, though, yeah, because Val Kilmer didn't Val Kilmer yes, Elvis. voice um, Elvis in it, yeah, oh, yeah, which yeah, was yeah. really confusing cool. because he was in all the publicity photos. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Like, oh, when, when's Val going to turn up in this? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so good. Ben, would you like to go next? Sure. Yep. Oh. Here we go. It's a uh, King's Cross Station. <laughs> that's a that's a ten thousand dollar fashion voucher. If I can grab the other station, I'm I'm really <laughs> enjoying this new bit that that the Ben's doing. <laughs> I've run out of after this. I think I've run out of fast food venues that give you stuff that you can uh, use. That. Oh, oh. Here we go. Clerks. Clerks. It's been Wonderful. a while since I've seen Clerks, actually. What a film. Oh, love it. Love it. Um, it's just such a nothing film, but it's so great. Mm. I still think it's his finest film. Yeah. I, I kind of agree. I think so, too. I think the only other one that comes close for me is probably Chasing Amy, but that's still not as great. What about Tusk? I like Dogma. <laughs> oh, t- <laughs> I love Tusk. I love Tusk. Hey, dude, I love yoga hoses, but we're talking close. Oh, yeah, well, true, yeah, true, <laughs> true. Although yoga hoses is as close to clerks as they get, really. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't. It's, set, it's set in a convenience store. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still waiting for it's Moose Jaws. Yes, same. Got to complete that trilogy, God damn it. <laughs> um, what do you want to say about clerks? Like, I think everyone loves clerks, surely. I'd like to think so. I thought, oh, what did I was I watching? Um, oh, I don't know if we should talk about this, but I was watching one of the movies that <laughs> we watched the screener for for Monster Fest. Oh yes, Brian Halloran. Brian, Hall- Brian Halloran turns up. Oh, yeah, shit, and he's playing like a tough. So and, hey, and that's hey Ben film? Ben Ben. We can talk about it. Just don't put it up on Letterbox. Yeah, <laughs> but it it was a newer film, was it? Yes, we're programming it. This year's festival, and he, he's in the opening of the movie, and you're like straight away, like, ah, oh, it's Dante. Cool. <laughs> straight away. Do you remember yeah. when he was in that movie, Volga, that was part of the universe as well? I still have not seen this movie, but this is the one about the clown? Yeah. Yeah, I've been dying to see it. You've told me about it countless times. I've, I've got to track it down eventually. He was maybe, the lead, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll borrow it from you when I bring back the last one I borrowed from you 18 months ago when I saw you last. What was that? Um, the time traveling comedy. Oh yeah, With the um, so time machine. Oh. No, no, the, but um... that's a classic. <laughs> okay, Frequ- time time machine too. Frequently Everyone asked questions about time travel. <laughs> yes, that's the one. That's what did you say, one. Ben? Did you say the same thing I just did? No, I said everyone said like when you said you know that time traveling movie, and everyone said the name of a film that was completely different. <laughs> 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 did you watch it, Jarrett? No, no, I figured <laughs> I figured I'll probably know when they're going to be given this lockdown out. Like, we'll get, like, what, a month's warning? Uh, so then I'll be like, fuck, I better watch that movie. I yeah. <laughs> better watch that movie now. The pressure's on. I no, but when I... When I borrowed that, uh, what have they done to Solange off you? And I think I had it for <laughs> a good year. Still haven't seen it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I even returned it. I mean, oh, it's, it's, uh, I'll never watch this. And I'd be like, "Are you sure, man? Like, you could watch it?" And you're like, well, "Nah, I don't know." I do really want to see it, but uh... <laughs> hey, I'll loan it to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a good chat about clerks. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what have I got here? War games. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. You want oh, the remake? It's missing part. It's missing the number two at the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit yeah war games hey that, that that's one i revisited about three or four years ago i picked up they did a nice blu-ray of it picked it up um watched it and then i 
put the eBay, I put the Blu-ray on eBay <laughs> about an hour later. I just was like, oh, I can't do this. I mean, this I was is this bored is, to tears. Dude, bored no, to I, tears. I love it. But I wanted, I wanted to like it because it's a great cast. And you know, I, I don't you know, like seeing these movies remade, but that would benefit mm. from a remake. Like today's world, but, you know, lends itself very nicely to that story. I always Definitely. get mixed up Definitely. with Project X, though. Like I can't, like I'm like, oh, like hell, of infinitely hell. better, no. infinitely better film. It's got a monkey in it, and Matthew Broderick and a monkey. That's a monkey. You and, got me. Yeah, yeah. That's I no, like that's, War Games a lot. That's no way to yeah. talk about Helen Hunt, though. <laughs> a monkey <laughs> isn't credited. Was it John Badham uh, that directed War Games? Yeah, maybe. yeah. John, but yeah, yeah. Uh, that monkey, that monkey <laughs> suffered though. <laughs> Uh, there's a there's a long story about that. Was that um, oh. the monkey? Yeah, the monkey was was obviously did the film, and then the studio held on to the monkey, and they wanted to you know re rehome the monkey, but the studio was really pushy about um, reusing it in other films. There's, there's a really documented history about it. It's really quite oh. tragic. It ended up um, at the Neverland this, Ranch, which is which is yeah, it's the sad side of like watching something like Milo and Otis and then reading mm. the production history and you're kind of like, oh, no. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> it was a different time and we've learnt since then. So that said, if they were to make war gra- uh, remake War Games, I reckon they could probably make a good movie now, Ben. Uh, Glenn. Ben Englund. <laughs> they just used the <laughs> and Sam. Of Congo. They used the animatronic yeah. gorilla from yeah. Yeah, and um, yeah. yeah, and and that Freudian slip there. We we saw the movie War Grains, didn't we, Ben? That was the one with Christopher Walken a few weeks yeah. ago. Yeah, <laughs> War Grains. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Jarrett, you're you're up next. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's unroll these spitballs and and see what I have. <laughs> Uh, I've got Cliffhanger from 1993. <laughs> I've, written, I've written the date next to it, 1993 Cliffhanger. What a banger. Uh, Reddy Harlan directed mm. Cliffhanger. Um, Sylvester Another. Stallone. Oh, John Lithgow. John Lithgow was John the villain Lithgow. in War Games, wasn't he? No, that was the Manhattan Project. Ah, uh, the Manhattan Project. Of course, John Lithgow was always and, a villain uh, for so long. And Buckley so long. Bondi. And Blowout. Yeah, and Blowout. And, uh, and here again in Cliffhanger as well. San- Santa Claus uh, movie? Yeah. Santa Claus the movie. He plays a hell of a villain, right? Yeah, right into T, you know, TV. With yeah, Dexter, I reckon up the until killer. the third rock from the sun, he was like, yeah, a, absolutely. And then all of a sudden, he yeah. became like he becomes the goofy get dad. Although in third rock from the yeah. sun, the real aggressive kind of asshole. But what, <laughs> yeah, no, no, what movie was it from the early eighties where he played like the soft romantic sort of um love interest? Like he was doting on someone. Project. The world according to Garp. No. Oh no, he was a cross cross dresser in that one. I want to say, <laughs> I want to say, terms of endearment. Was he in that? I think that's, that's Jack Nicholson. No, 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 because it had um, Jeff Daniels was in it, and I think John Lithgow. I'm going to look it up. You guys just talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, Jack Nicholson could 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 be, and Jack Nicholson. He was well, in yeah, it too. He was He's the lead. Astronaut. He's the astronaut. Yeah. But I don't, I don't remember. He's an Deborah astronaut. Winger. Yeah, Jack Nicholson was in it. I'm just Deborah Winger. It yeah. Deborah Winger. Deborah Winger was apparently a real nightmare. Cokehead. Big cokehead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did a lot of coke. Was bad to work with. Didn't want to come out of her dressing room most of the time. <laughs> too much. Too much coke. Thought she was or maybe not enough. Or maybe maybe Incredible. that's the problem. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem they never mention. Like even Kid, Kid 90, they don't talk about how there was just not enough cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> it's a hell of a drug and it's an expensive drug. Yeah, but hey, if you're if you're a, if you're a young Turk making the movies, you can afford it. Exactly. <laughs> like, give exactly. it to you for free for some reason. What else are you going to spend your money on? I mean, you know. Hey, let's not forget. I'm, I'm on. I'm on the John Lithgow thing here. That before that, he was in <laughs> Harry and the Hendersons. Oh, yeah, eighty seven. He was the dad. Yeah, he was. The yeah, eighty seven. Yeah. Was he Harry? No, no, he was the dad. <laughs> cool. And he was. Cool uh, he was. He was the Russian Dirty cosmonaut. Harry. Dirty Harry in the Hendersons. <laughs> 2010, the he was the Russian cosmonaut. In what, sorry? Oh, yeah. 2010. 2010. The year we make contact. Yes. Is there a big baby? The Is the baby grows up? <laughs> that what the no, best? you're thinking... You're thinking of Big Mama's House with Martin Lawrence. Totally different movie. Yeah, <laughs> totally different movie. So close. Good, much better yeah. movie, of course. Yeah. Much better. Uh, you don't have to so there's a, your acid I can't, I can't think of it. I can't find have, it. Has, have we mentioned that Sylvester Stallone's in Cliffhanger at this point? <laughs> and wrote it. <laughs> and wrote it. But it is... And it, 
Cliffhanger belongs in the Janine Turner box set. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. Classic Absolutely. movie stars yeah. Northern Exposure's Janine Turner. Yeah, Cliff Cliffhanger and Ambulance together, back to back. And uh, Dr. Yes. T and the Women and uh, Monkey Shines. And that's it. I think that's the yeah. end. <laughs> this is the strangest box set. <laughs> but, but hell, I'd, I'd be first in line to buy it. <laughs> but yeah, Cliffhanger. Undisputed went- action classic of the 90s that uh, I feel like I only revisited this a few years ago. And it is just, I mean, apart from some of the wiry sort of stuff that, you know, the practical effects are kind of give it away. Um, it is just a classic. How's that classic? classic um, that classic blooper in it, where you know she's about to die. Yes. The guy in the helicopter's <laughs> laughing his ass off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The helicopter pilot guy is like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, she's about to fall off that wire, and he's just like, <laughs> oh, it's so good. I think when I got it on 4K, I just kept rewinding it with Daddy, and we just like kept rewinding it. So it's like losing it every time. Going, so, it's amazing because they could have digitally altered it. I was going to say, George, they did didn't. Brett Connor? It? Yeah. yeah. No, and I'm glad they didn't because it's just it looks even better in 4K clarity. <laughs> So, just, he looks Garrett, so happy, so happy. Speaking of, how much coke have you done tonight? Uh, not not nearly <laughs> enough. <laughs> and I, and I'm going to give my friend Feldman a call later, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> see if we can get. I really shouldn't have had this sleepy time tea. That's like my problem. <laughs> you know, I really like the guy in Cliffhanger who's the the crooked FBI or Treasury agent. That the bald guy. He like he is a great movie villain. You know, in the vein, like if you can't afford um, the guy who plays Taggart, John Ashton. Yeah, yeah. That guy. Like he's the belligerent John Ashton replaced John Ashton replacement. Did I read somewhere that Cliffhanger's getting remade? I haven't heard anything as such, but it wouldn't surprise me, and I certainly hope not. I know. Oh. What's the point? Like, what more? What I mean, I, I'm, I'm fine if they, they want to do a Cliffhanger extended cut, maybe. Rather, like they're doing Rocky Four, you know, coming out in November, finally extended. Mm. Like, I mean, no one's asked for it, and it's Rocky Four, but I, I'll <laughs> totally take it because you know it's, no, it's the Rocky, it's Rocky Four. I never know I needed until I knew <laughs> we could get it. So I'm down for the cliffhanger extended cut as well. No, I reckon they should like Disney should redo it, like Zap. <laughs> like, the, like instead of being like make it a sex comedy like go in the complete opposite direction of what cliffhanger actually is like zapped like yeah zapped because like she's hanging she's hanging off the wire that's the highest upskirt i've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> this is what this is going to be on disney plus star like, or disney whatever plus, it is disney yeah. star yeah. plus yeah. And they reckon, right. like, it's all because it's all advertising the new iphone like this has got a 200 times zoom <laughs> But they do have to remake Cliffhanger with Scott Bayo. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just all about his giant dong. <laughs> oh, my God. And Republican politics. So, man, have, you, have you seen apparently, Cliffhanger? Apparently, he's hung like a monkey. He's hung like a donkey. The old... Uh, <laughs> a, mon- a monkey. A monkey. A monkey. <laughs> it's very he's ironic. He's hung like a monkey. <laughs> he's Republican. <laughs> hey, Sam, have you seen Cliffhanger? Uh, no. No, get on it. It's so good. It's so good. I, I no, saw that at the, at the cinemas. Mm. Makes, ugh, makes me feel old. Same. <laughs> Same. What a year, though. Like, I think that year, around that year, maybe we had, or maybe the year after, we had Demolition Man. Like, Stallone was kind of making a kind of comeback in a way. Not that he'd ever really it was fallen. Like 93. But, you know. Yeah, yeah, 93. True what Romance came out in oh. 93. Whoa! <laughs> I was going to say. That's weird! Uh, I don't remember Stallone being in True Romance. Like, was that. Did I, <laughs> did I fall asleep at that point? <laughs> like, it totally wouldn't surprise me that he was in it. We've got, um, we've got time for <laughs> one more. Do you, do you want to do, do it, Sam? Uh, yeah. Hopefully, it's a good one. I don't think that matters. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to talk about Zapped anyway. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's the 1999 Alice in Wonderland made by Hallmark. <laughs> oh, yes. This I is the one love with Whoopi Goldberg. Movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it had um, Gene Wilder in it. Yep. And Ow. it was so good. I Guys, remember. It this is the one that fondly. was released as a, a video easy exclusive. Do you remember when they used to have yes. all the Hallmark movies? 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. all the DVDs would be branded with the um the Video Easy logo, like Dinotopia. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. the the Ice Princess and which was G- um, Gulliver's Travels as well with Ted Danson, yep. maybe? I think yeah, that the was Ted Danson one. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, uh, and uh pay it forward. <laughs> True believer. True believer was a video easy exclusive. Uh, shooting fish, but um, Sam, oh, shooting, I, fish, shooting fish, shooting was. fish was. Yeah, yeah that's right. True yeah. believer was yeah. as well. True believer was that Nazi, we, the Nazi movie. True believer. Oh yeah, right. I thought you were talking about the one with James. No, Woodson. no, no, no. It was just called uh, the believer. I was just the believer. Uh, ah, yeah. so yeah, it was, yeah, wasn't yeah. paid forward. Wasn't paid forward like a no, no. But I think that's that was one of those. It. That was one of those rental exclusive ones. Remember, they had the rental exclusive on the top of the, uh, the yes. DVD. Yeah. Dating the enemy. <laughs> what? Date, dating the enemy. That was a video. Oh yeah, exclusive. right. Yeah, the Guy uh, Pierce one. The Guy, Guy Pierce, Pierce one. one. Yeah, and Claudia like, Cavalli. Yeah. Roberts one. But no. Thank you yeah. very much for the yeah. um. Thank you for the segue there, Jared, because Guy Pierce is our guest on the next episode of Good Movie Monday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, well, that was fun. Uh, that Alice in Wonderland, um, Sam, it, I like it. It's good. Yeah, it's me a, too. It's a, it's a miniseries, isn't it? It goes for like two 90-minute episodes. Yeah, yeah. I saw it in one like movie length thing. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it was, a, it, was on, it was on Foxtel. I watched I it on Foxtel. I think it's the last movie Gene Wilder ever made. Oh, wow. Oh, was it? I think so. Oh. I think so. Actually, that wouldn't surprise me. He was quite... He was older in the film, so I suppose it would be, yeah. Yeah, his hair was, was beyond beyond frizz. No, <laughs> he was great in it though, as <laughs> always. The, um, there was another one. There was another like made for TV kind of, like it was done in that old school kind of TV way where it was all like dodgy sets, like clearly a, like set on a soundstage, like a storyteller kind of thing. Yeah, do you remember that? Uh, I'm trying Vaguely. to find. It. On, on it's not that. Uh, it's not that Tin Men one, is it? No, no, that one. Yeah, with no, that was a TV show. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Are you talking about the um the Tin Man as in the um the Wizard of Oz Zoe Deschanel one? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was horrendous. Now, what would this? Not be? not the Richard Dreyfuss Danny DeVito comedy classic from the <laughs> mid to late eighties. <laughs> Tin Men, amazing. Yep. Amazing. Yep. Oh man. All right. Well, that that'll do. That'll do. I'm I'm lucky dipped out. Yeah, it was a good lucky dip. <laughs> it wasn't a bad one. It was a weird one. <laughs> uh, it went places. Yeah, thanks, Jarrett, for joining us. And um, I do recommend everybody goes back and listens to the episode of Good Movie Monday, um, where we we go in all kinds of directions. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Yeah, no worries. Sorry. <laughs> There's no delay there. <laughs> just... All right. Uh, cheers, Ben. I'll see you next week. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the delay. 